In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire the Shelly RGBW2 to provide both physical and Wi-Fi control for light strips or individual LED spotlights with either red, green, blue, and white subchannels or up to four separate single color LED strips. First, let's take a second to understand the wiring terminals on the Shelly RGBW2. Starting on the right side is a terminal labeled I for input. This is an optional terminal that can be used to switch your RGBW2 on and off using either a mains voltage light switch with the included power adapter or a DC light switch. The next terminal is labeled DC and it powers the RGBW2 with the positive lead from either a 12 or 24 volt DC source. The Shelly RGBW2 is not a mains voltage device and it does not contain a transformer. Do not under any circumstances connect the RGBW2 directly to mains voltage. Your 12 or 24 volt input should match the input voltage listed on your LED strip or LED lamps. Next is a terminal labeled ground where you'll connect the negative lead of your DC power source. The four ports next to that are labeled R, G, B, and W, and they represent the four different channels of pulse width modulated LED control. Each channel is rated for a maximum of 45 watts per channel or 144 watts total when using a 12 volt source or 90 watts per channel or 288 watts total when using a 24 volt source. Let's start out by looking at the most common use case for the Shelly RGBW2, controlling an LED strip with separate red, green, blue, and white LED channels. It's important to understand that the Shelly RGBW2 is meant for a traditional 12 or 24 volt LED strip and not for individually addressable LED strips. The easiest way to tell if your LED strip is a traditional strip or an addressable strip is to look at the copper pads on the strip which should be labeled plus RGB and W on a traditional strip or plus data and ground on an individually addressable strip. To wire your Shelly RGBW2 for this configuration, you'll need a 12 or 24 volt DC adapter that matches the voltage of your LED strip. And remember that you should never work with live voltage, so make sure you unplug your DC power supply or turn off your breaker for the circuit before proceeding. The positive wire from your DC power supply will connect to the DC terminal of the Shelly and the positive wire of the LED strip. The negative wire from your DC power supply should connect to the GND terminal on the Shelly RGBW2. Next, match the wires labeled R, G, B, and W on your LED strip with the corresponding terminals on the Shelly. It is unfortunately not that uncommon for the colors of the wires on the LED strips to be different from the labels on the strip, so make sure that you're connecting the correct wires to the correct terminals. Your strip may not have a separate white channel, and in which case you would only connect the R, G, and B terminals. Once your Shelly is wired as shown, you can plug in your DC adapter or turn on your circuit breaker to power up your Shelly RGBW2. When using this configuration in the web interface or app, you should select color as the device type and choose the corresponding DC supply voltage to match your strip. If you'd like to add a switch in this configuration, you have two different options, AC switching or DC switching. When adding an AC switch, you'll need to use the included switch adapter. The adapter will be installed in between the switch output and the Shelly. Find the side of the adapter that has two black wires and connect one of them to the neutral AC wire and one to the hot output leg of your switch. On the other side of the adapter, attach the red wire to the I terminal on the Shelly and the black wire should be spliced together with the negative wire of your DC power supply to create a common ground. For a DC connected switch, you don't need the included switch adapter and instead you'll connect a wire from the negative terminal of your DC power supply to your switch's input leg and connect the switch output leg to the I terminal of the Shelly. In both cases, you'll also need to configure your switch type in the Shelly app where you can use either toggle to have your switch position always correspond with the state of the LEDs or edge switch to have your LED state toggle anytime the switch position changes. In this configuration in the Shelly web or app interface, you can select a color for your R, G, and B LEDs using the color wheel and brightness slider. And then you can separately control the white channel using the white channel brightness slider. The second way to use the Shelly RGBW2 is with four different single color LED channels. This could be four different 12 or 24 volt single color LED strips for different lighting zones or 12 or 24 volt LED spotlights. To wire your RGBW2 in this configuration, you'll connect the positive lead of your 12 or 24 volt DC power supply to the DC terminal on the Shelly and also to the positive wire on each LED strip or spotlight. The negative lead of your DC power supply should connect to the GND terminal on the Shelly and the negative wire of each LED strip should connect to one of the four terminals labeled R, G, B, or W on the Shelly. In this configuration, R corresponds to channel 1, G to channel 2, B is 3, and W is 4. 
When using this configuration in the web interface or app, you should select white as the device type, and don't forget to select the DC supply voltage that matches your strips or spotlights. After selecting white as your device type, the color wheel will disappear and you'll instead have four different brightness sliders corresponding to the four different terminals on the Shelly. Adding a switch to this configuration is the same as using an RGBW strip and can be accomplished with either a mains voltage switch using the included adapter or with a DC power supply. I hope this video has answered all of your questions regarding using the Shelly RGBW2 to control your traditional dimmable LED strips or LED spotlights, and if you have additional questions, please consult the official Shelly documentation, ask a question via the Shelly Support Facebook group, or message Shelly using the Contact Us feature on Shelly.cloud.